Imagine yourself traveling back 2,000 years to a time when Jesus' disciples faced a world filled with danger and persecution. In this video, we will explore the final moments of the 12 faithful disciples, witnessing how they faced death with extraordinary courage for their faith. From Peter's upside-down crucifixion in Rome to Thomas's brave journey to India that ended tragically, each story is filled with drama, sacrifice, and miracles. Let's begin with the story of Peter, the leader of the apostles, who chose to be crucified upside down because he felt unworthy to die in the same manner as Jesus. Then, we will look at the tragic fate of James the Greater, the first apostle to be martyred, killed by the sword under the orders of King Herod Agrippa. We will also witness the relentless struggle of James the Less, who faced unceasing opposition until he was finally stoned to death. Thomas's courageous mission to India to spread the gospel ended with shocking violence. And finally, we will discover the extraordinary story of John, who survived being thrown into boiling oil and was exiled to the island of Patmos, where he received the visions that became the Book of Revelation. Each story reveals unwavering determination and bravery, giving us a profound insight into the sacrifices made for their faith. Let's begin this journey and see how these apostles ended their lives in remarkable ways. Peter, originally named Simon, was a simple fisherman from Galilee who became one of Jesus' closest disciples. Renamed Peter, meaning rock, by Jesus himself, he was destined for a remarkable yet tragic end. His journey from a humble fisherman to the leader of the early Christian church was marked by profound faith and ultimate sacrifice. Peter's fervent preaching and miraculous acts spread Christianity far and wide, ultimately bringing him to the heart of the Roman Empire. His unwavering dedication to Jesus' teachings made him a target for persecution under Emperor Nero, notorious for his brutal treatment of Christians. Arrested for his faith, Peter faced the prospect of execution. Tradition holds that he was sentenced to crucifixion, a cruel and agonizing death. However, Peter, in his deep humility, felt unworthy to die in the same manner as his beloved master, Jesus. In an extraordinary act of devotion, he requested to be crucified upside down. The request was granted, and Peter's executioners nailed him to the cross, inverted and vulnerable. As he hung there, suffering the excruciating pain of crucifixion, Peter continued to embody the profound faith that had guided his life. Despite the agony, his spirit remained unbroken, and his commitment to his faith undeterred. Andrew, the brother of Peter, was a fisherman by trade, casting his nets into the Sea of Galilee before he answered Jesus' call to become an fisher of men. Known for his zeal and dedication, Andrew traveled far and wide to spread the teachings of Jesus, ultimately reaching the distant land of Potras in Greece. In Potras, Andrew's passionate preaching quickly attracted attention, converting many to the Christian faith. However, his success also caught the ire of the Roman authorities, who viewed his growing influence as a threat. Ordered to renounce his faith, Andrew stood steadfast, refusing to deny his Lord. As punishment, Andrew was sentenced to death by crucifixion. However, his execution was to be different from his brother Peter's. Instead of a traditional cross, Andrew was bound to an X-shaped cross, known as a saltire. The intent was to prolong his suffering, a cruel method that would ensure a slow and agonizing death. As Andrew was tied to the cross, he continued to preach to the crowd gathered to witness his execution. For two days, he endured the pain, his voice unwavering as he spoke of love, forgiveness, and eternal life. His words resonated deeply with the onlookers, many of whom were moved by his unshakable faith and extraordinary courage. The sight of Andrew, arms outstretched on the saltire, speaking of salvation even in his final moments, was both heartbreaking and inspiring. His enduring spirit in the face of such brutal suffering left an indelible mark on all who witnessed it. The X-shaped cross, now known as St. Andrew's Cross, stands as a testament to the profound sacrifice and unwavering dedication of a man who gave his life for his faith. Thomas, 
often remembered as Doubting Thomas for his initial skepticism of Jesus' resurrection, was a man of deep faith and profound conviction. After overcoming his doubts, Thomas became one of the most fervent and adventurous of the apostles. His journey took him to distant lands, where he tirelessly spread the message of Christianity. Thomas's travels eventually led him to India, a land of diverse cultures and beliefs. There, he found a receptive audience and established a strong Christian community. His bold preaching and miraculous acts drew many converts, but they also attracted the attention of local authorities who viewed his growing influence with suspicion and hostility. The tension reached a boiling point when Thomas was accused of undermining the traditional beliefs and inciting unrest. Arrested and brought before the local rulers, Thomas was given a chance to renounce his faith and escape punishment. Unyielding in his devotion, he refused to deny his Lord. Sentenced to death, Thomas faced his executioners with unflinching courage. Bound and surrounded by a hostile crowd, he was subjected to a brutal death by spears. As the soldiers raised their weapons, Thomas stood tall, his gaze unwavering, his spirit unbroken. The first spear struck him, and then another, and another, each blow delivered with ruthless precision. The scene was both horrific and awe-inspiring. As blood flowed from his wounds, Thomas continued to proclaim his faith, his voice strong and clear amidst the chaos. His final moments were a testament to his transformation from a doubter to a believer, from a skeptic to a martyr. The image of Thomas, pierced by spears, remains a powerful symbol of his sacrifice. His death in a foreign land, far from the familiar shores of Galilee, underscores the lengths to which he went to spread the gospel. Thomas's martyrdom is a dramatic and poignant chapter in the story of the apostles, a testament to the enduring power of faith and conviction. James the Greater, the son of Zebedee and brother of John, was one of Jesus' closest disciples. Known for his fiery zeal and passionate devotion, James earned a prominent place among the apostles. His dedication to spreading the teachings of Jesus led him to Jerusalem, where he preached fearlessly despite the growing threats from those who opposed the new faith. James's powerful sermons and miraculous acts attracted many followers, but they also drew the ire of King Herod Agrippa I, a ruler determined to quash the burgeoning Christian movement. Viewing James as a significant threat, Herod ordered his arrest and imprisonment. The swift and decisive action against such a prominent figure was meant to send a clear message to other Christians. Brought before Herod, James stood resolute. The king, in a public display of authority, condemned James to death by beheading. The sentence was carried out with brutal efficiency. On the day of his execution, James was led through the streets of Jerusalem, surrounded by a jeering crowd. His composure and serenity in the face of death were striking, a testament to his unwavering faith. As James knelt before the executioner, a remarkable event occurred. According to tradition, his accuser, moved by James's courage and conviction, repented and declared his newfound faith in Christ. The accuser begged for James's forgiveness and requested to be executed alongside him. This extraordinary act of solidarity only heightened the drama of the moment. The executioner raised his sword, and with a swift, powerful stroke, James's life was ended. The suddenness and finality of his beheading left a profound impact on those who witnessed it. The blood of James, the first apostle to be martyred, was a poignant symbol of the high cost of discipleship. James the Greater's martyrdom marked a pivotal moment in the early Christian church, highlighting the intense persecution faced by those who followed Jesus. His death in Jerusalem, at the hands of a ruthless king, underscored the perilous path walked by the apostles as they spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. Bartholomew, also known as Nathaniel, was one of Jesus' twelve apostles, celebrated for his deep faith and unyielding dedication to spreading the gospel. His missionary journeys took him to far-flung regions, including India and Armenia, where he passionately preached the teachings of Christ. Bartholomew's success in converting many to Christianity inevitably drew the ire of local authorities and religious leaders. 
In Armenia, his efforts to spread the faith brought him into direct conflict with the king, who saw Bartholomew's influence as a threat to his power and the established religious order. Captured and brought before the king, Bartholomew was given a dire ultimatum, renounce his faith or face a horrific death. True to his unwavering devotion, Bartholomew refused to deny Christ. The punishment for his defiance was both brutal and terrifying. Bartholomew was sentenced to be flayed alive, a method of execution designed to inflict maximum pain and suffering. As his skin was peeled away with excruciating slowness, Bartholomew endured the unimaginable agony with remarkable fortitude. His cries of pain mingled with his continued declarations of faith, creating a scene of both horror and profound spiritual strength. Even in the throes of such torment, Bartholomew's spirit remained unbroken. His tormentors, perhaps unnerved by his resilience, decided to hasten his death. After enduring the gruesome flaying, Bartholomew was beheaded, bringing an end to his suffering. The manner of Bartholomew's death, one of the most horrific among the apostles, stands as a stark testament to his unwavering faith and the severe persecution faced by early Christians. His martyrdom in Armenia left a lasting impact, not only on those who witnessed it, but also on the history of the Christian Church. Bartholomew's legacy endures as a powerful symbol of sacrifice and devotion, his horrific death underscoring the extraordinary lengths to which he went to spread the message of Christ. His story remains one of the most dramatic and harrowing accounts of apostolic martyrdom, echoing through the ages as a testament to his faith. Matthew, the tax collector turned apostle, was a figure of profound transformation and dedication. Known for his gospel, which details the life and teachings of Jesus, Matthew's journey as a disciple was marked by his relentless mission to spread the Christian faith far and wide. Matthew's missionary work took him to various regions, including Ethiopia, where he encountered a diverse and often hostile environment. Undeterred by the challenges, Matthew preached with fervor, converting many to Christianity through his powerful words and miracles. However, his success did not go unnoticed by the local authorities and pagan priests, who saw him as a threat to their traditional beliefs and power. Matthew's influence and the growing number of his followers alarmed them, leading to his eventual arrest. Brought before the local king, Matthew was commanded to cease his preaching and renounce his faith. With unshakable resolve, he refused. The king, incensed by Matthew's defiance, ordered his immediate execution. Matthew was taken to a public place where a crowd gathered to witness the grim spectacle. The executioner, wielding a sword, prepared to carry out the sentence. Matthew knelt, his eyes reflecting a serene faith that seemed to transcend the imminent violence. As the sword was raised, a tense silence fell over the crowd. The executioner brought the sword down in a swift, merciless arc, and with that single blow, Matthew's life was ended. The dramatic scene of Matthew's beheading was a powerful moment, leaving an indelible mark on those who witnessed it. His martyrdom in Ethiopia, a land far from his home, was a testament to his unwavering commitment to spreading the message of Jesus. Philip, one of Jesus' twelve apostles, was known for his deep faith and relentless dedication to spreading the gospel. His missionary journeys took him to Asia Minor, where he encountered a variety of cultures and beliefs. In the city of Hierapolis in Phrygia, Philip's passionate preaching drew a significant following, but it also attracted the attention of hostile authorities. The local pagan priests, threatened by Philip's growing influence and the conversion of many to Christianity, sought to silence him. They incited the city's officials against him, leading to his arrest. Brought before the governor, Philip was commanded to renounce his faith and cease his missionary activities. Firm in his beliefs, he refused to comply. As a result, Philip was sentenced to crucifixion, a brutal and agonizing form of execution. However, his punishment was made even more severe by crucifying him upside down, a position that prolonged his suffering. Bound to the cross with ropes, Philip faced his executioners and the gathered crowd with a calm and unyielding faith. 
Even as he hung upside down on the cross, Philip continued to preach, his voice unwavering despite the intense pain. His words, filled with conviction and hope, echoed through the air, reaching the hearts of those who listened. The sight of Philip enduring such torment with unwavering faith was both harrowing and inspiring. The crowd watched in a mixture of horror and awe as Philip's life slowly ebbed away. His death, marked by prolonged suffering and steadfast faith, left a profound impact on all who witnessed it. The image of Philip on the upside-down cross became a powerful symbol of his sacrifice and dedication to the message of Christ. James the Less, also known as James, son of Alphaeus, was one of Jesus' twelve apostles, renowned for his deep devotion and steadfast faith. His mission to spread the teachings of Christ led him to Jerusalem, where he became a prominent leader of the early Christian community. James's influence and his fervent preaching drew many to the new faith, but it also aroused the ire of the Jewish authorities who saw the burgeoning Christian movement as a threat to their power and traditions. Determined to silence him, they plotted his downfall. One fateful day, James was brought before the Sanhedrin, the highest court of religious authority in Jerusalem. Accused of blasphemy for proclaiming Jesus as the Messiah, James was given the opportunity to renounce his faith. Unwavering in his devotion, he stood firm, refusing to deny his Lord. Infuriated by his steadfastness, the authorities condemned James to death. He was taken to the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem, a towering structure that loomed over the city. From this great height, James was thrown down, his body crashing onto the ground below. Miraculously, he survived the fall, his faith and determination unbroken. Determined to finish their task, the enraged mob descended upon James, beating him with stones and clubs. Despite the brutal assault, James continued to pray for his attackers, his voice a calm amidst the chaos. The violence reached its climax when a fuller, a man who worked in the cleaning and thickening of cloth, struck James on the head with a club, delivering the fatal blow. The scene was one of brutal carnage, with James's blood staining the ground of the temple precinct. His martyrdom was a stark display of the ferocity of the opposition faced by early Christians, and his final prayers for his attackers highlighted his profound faith and forgiveness. Simon the Zealot, one of Jesus' twelve apostles, was known for his fiery passion and unwavering dedication to spreading the gospel. His zeal for the faith took him to various distant lands, including Persia, where he labored tirelessly to convert the local population to Christianity. Simon's success in converting many to the faith did not go unnoticed. The local authorities and religious leaders, threatened by his influence and the growing number of Christian converts, decided to take drastic action to stop him. Simon was arrested and brought before the rulers, who demanded that he renounce his faith and cease his missionary work. Refusing to abandon his beliefs, Simon stood firm in the face of their threats. Angered by his defiance, the authorities sentenced him to a particularly gruesome death. According to tradition, Simon was either sawn in half or crucified, both methods chosen for their brutality and the prolonged suffering they would inflict. Bound and prepared for execution, Simon faced his tormentors with unyielding courage. As the saw or the cross was prepared, he continued to proclaim his faith, his voice strong and clear despite the impending agony. The executioners, unmoved by his words, proceeded with their horrific task. The sight of Simon enduring such a torturous death was both harrowing and inspiring. His body was subjected to unimaginable pain, yet his spirit remained unbroken. The crowd that gathered to witness the execution was struck by his resilience and the depth of his faith. Simon's martyrdom in Persia was a dramatic and brutal end to a life devoted to the spread of Christianity. His death, marked by intense suffering and unwavering conviction, highlighted the severe persecution faced by the apostles and the extraordinary lengths to which they went to share the message of Jesus. Thaddeus, also known as Jude, was one of Jesus' twelve apostles, distinguished by his deep commitment and fervent devotion to spreading the gospel. 
His missionary work took him to distant lands, including Persia, where he labored alongside Simon the Zealot to convert people to Christianity. Thaddeus's efforts bore fruit, attracting many converts, but also the ire of the local authorities and religious leaders who saw him as a significant threat to their power and traditional beliefs. Arrested and brought before the ruling powers, Thaddeus was commanded to renounce his faith and cease his evangelizing efforts. With steadfast resolve, Thaddeus refused to deny Christ, standing firm in his convictions despite the threats of violence. Enraged by his defiance, the authorities condemned him to a cruel death by arrows. Thaddeus was led to the place of execution, surrounded by a hostile crowd eager to witness his punishment. As the archers took their positions, Thaddeus remained calm and composed, his faith unshaken. The first arrow struck, piercing his flesh with brutal force. Despite the excruciating pain, Thaddeus continued to pray, his voice a testament to his enduring spirit. The archers loosed volley after volley, each arrow embedding itself in his body. The spectacle of Thaddeus, his body riddled with arrows, was both horrifying and awe-inspiring. Blooded and wounded, he maintained his faith, refusing to yield even in the face of such brutal torment. His unwavering dedication and the sight of his suffering left a profound impact on those who witnessed his execution. John, known as the beloved disciple, was unique among the apostles for the way his life unfolded. Unlike his fellow apostles, John did not meet a violent end, but his journey was filled with trials and profound experiences that shaped the early Christian church. John's devotion to Jesus and his unwavering faith led him to become a central figure among the disciples. After Jesus' ascension, John continued to preach and spread the gospel, his teachings reaching far and wide. His influence and the powerful messages he conveyed drew the attention of Roman authorities, who viewed the growing Christian movement with increasing suspicion and hostility. During the reign of Emperor Domitian, John was arrested and brought to Rome. There, he faced severe persecution. According to tradition, he was thrown into a cauldron of boiling oil, a method of execution meant to be both excruciating and final. However, John emerged unharmed, a miraculous survival that left his persecutors in awe and disbelief. Unable to kill him, the Roman authorities exiled John to the remote island of Patmos. It was on this desolate island that John received and wrote the Book of Revelation, a vivid and prophetic vision of the end times and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. His exile, rather than silencing him, provided the solitude and divine inspiration for one of the most significant works in the Christian canon. John spent his final years in Ephesus, continuing to lead and nurture the Christian community. He lived to an old age, a witness to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus and the unfolding of the early church. His experiences, from miraculous survival to prophetic visions, made his life a remarkable testament to his faith and dedication. Matthias, chosen to replace Judas Iscariot as one of the Twelve Apostles, was dedicated to spreading the teachings of Jesus. His journey as an apostle took him to various regions, where he preached with fervor and converted many to Christianity. According to tradition, Matthias's missionary work brought him to regions such as Cappadocia and the shores of the Caspian Sea. His success in spreading the gospel attracted the attention and hostility of local authorities and religious leaders who saw his influence as a threat to their power. Matthias's unwavering commitment to his faith ultimately led to his arrest. Brought before the authorities, he was given the chance to renounce his beliefs and cease his evangelizing. With unyielding resolve, Matthias refused to deny Christ, standing firm in his faith. The punishment for his defiance was severe. Matthias was sentenced to death by stoning, a brutal and excruciating method of execution. He was led to a public place where a crowd gathered to witness the grim spectacle. As the first stones were cast, Matthias remained steadfast, his spirit unbroken despite the pain. The mob, fueled by anger and hatred, continued to hurl stones at him, each impact a testament to his suffering. Bloodied and battered, 
Matthias endured the onslaught with remarkable courage. His final moments were marked by intense agony, yet his faith never wavered. To ensure his death, Matthias was ultimately beheaded, a final, merciless act that brought an end to his suffering. The scene of his martyrdom was both harrowing and powerful, leaving a lasting impression on those who witnessed it. As we reflect on the extraordinary lives and sacrifices of the Twelve Apostles, their unwavering faith and dedication stand as a powerful example for all of us. Their journeys, filled with immense trials and profound acts of courage, continue to inspire and guide us in our own faith. The Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 4 verses 7 to 8, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. These words resonate deeply as we honor the legacy of the apostles, who truly fought the good fight and finished their race with unwavering faith. We hope this video has provided you with insight and inspiration from the lives of these remarkable men. Their stories are a testament to the strength of faith and the enduring power of the gospel. Thank you for watching. If you found this video meaningful, please give it a like, leave a comment to share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspirational content. May the legacy of the apostles continue to inspire us all to live lives of faith, courage, and dedication.